Alright, so as I was watching the video, I was picking up more and more things that the video had in common with the book, The Things I Carried by Tim O'Brien. And in both the video and the book, you're able to immediately sympathize with these soldiers. And just like in The Things They Carried, O'Brien begins with talking about all of the soldiers like personal things about them and just like the things they carried in general like physically and emotional things and it allows you to connect like right from the start with these soldiers and just like realize that they're they're real people and they ha they each have things that you wouldn't think are necessities that they carry but to them it is a necessity based on their their life and their past and what they need to keep with them to comfort like them. in the war tapes they had to kill the children um because the children were coming too close to them or because they thought that the children could be a threat to their own men they had to kill the children and like you could you could tell like they were saying it had this lasting effect on them when they got back home from the war that just changed them and their family their family knew that they weren't the same person anymore and it just showed that like the things work and do and after watching the video it made me think of an example from the things they carried um one of the soldiers his best friend died and he ended up torturing a water buffalo just shooting it and just literally torturing it just out of like pain and sadness that the war brought to him and it made me think of the video how like the war can just destroy somebody mentally and emotionally to the point where they aren't even who they really are anymore they change into this monster or just someone who they really in are. the book the things that they carried basically you're going through the united states fighting in the vietnam war and it's told by tim o'brien and he's basically describing the united states's presence within vietnam and in Deborah Scranton's The War Tapes, she's basically going through how the United States was fighting in the Iraq War and how the struggles between right and wrong killings and the killing of innocent civilians. And that's basically some of the struggles that the United States faced when they were in the Vietnam War. Tim O'Brien discusses how the Viet Cong would basically kind of join in and act as if they were civilians. And in many occasions, the United States would accidentally kill innocent civilians and in one instance in the United States in the My Lai massacre they massacred over I think 300 civilian lives and that was basically a very controversial thing that the United States soldiers had done and in the war tapes the United States is going through the Iraq war kind of 20 that's not 20 like 40 years later and do you see the United States is still struggling with the Iraqi soldiers how many of the, the enemy forces were blending in as just regular civilians and in many instances the United States couldn't necessarily figure out whether who was the enemy and who was a good guy and Sergeant Pink discusses in the war tapes how the Iraqi soldiers the Iraqi little kids they would kind of come up to the soldiers the American soldiers and they would kind of throw out candy and sometimes if the kids got a little bit too close they had to kill them and that's something that kind of haunts Sergeant Pink and at the same time going back to the things they carried Tim O'Brien talks about how the murders of some innocent children and the innocent lives of civilians, how that haunts him and how he couldn't necessarily face that as their reality. And another comparison of the two is that the United States is fighting a dictatorship in both, but kind of it's a little bit different because the United States in the Vietnam War was fighting against communism compared to in the war tapes, they're fighting against a dictatorship. But you can say that the two are kind of similar in their Almost there was Granton's TED talk about her documentary, The War Tapes, and Tim O'Brien's novel, The Things They Carried, are similar in the sense that they are both war stories. However, the main difference between them is one is fiction and the other is real. Tim O'Brien's is the fiction one. And with fiction, it you're allowed to use more details that are not necessarily ac actual events or true. And for lack of a better word, it allows for better storytelling but with Scranton's it's not a fake story it is real you see actual events you see actual soldiers in this war and it makes you more emotional for the audience so with Tim O'Brien for example it's almost like reading a, a beloved book or watching a movie 
some people tend to fall in love with a character or make a liking to a specific character if that character were to die we would cope by saying it's fiction it's not a real character but you can't do that with Scranton because you see that these are real people you can't just say well I'm just going to change the story in my head to fit what I want it to happen these are actual outcomes and with Scranton you can actually feel and see her emotions as towards the end of her TED talk she really she talks about how another soldier had came and confided to in her as he said that he had once killed a child in the war and this one yet again makes it more emotional because you can actually see and hear the emotions that she is feeling which makes the audience more emotional as well with reading and actually just reading a novel uh, if someone really wanted to they can read it monotone they can feel no emotions whatsoever because it's just a book this is not just a book